Welcome back, folks. How's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic Lucy. Why did you get in that meal? Come on, Lucy. Come on, come on, come on. We're, we're up here at the house. There's no animals up here. You don't need to get in the meal. Anyways, what's going on, folks? Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Banjo, what's on this? What's on? What, what are you doing there, Rick? We're gonna, Be, look at Beefcake Construction's already you know, starting off hot. It's a uh, receiver hitch swivel hoist. Receiver hitch swivel it. hoist. Yeah. That was, good. that was a lot of lot of uh, wordage, but it, basically what it is is it's a uh, lift hoist pulley system of some sort for deer because that's what we're doing today. It is now rifle season down at the farm, so we are going to pack everything up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get everything ready for our hunting adventure. What we're planning on doing, um, you guys already saw me spot and stock one buck with a crossbow, most insane deer hunting thing I've ever seen in my life. Today we're going to do something similar, but we don't have to necessarily get quite as close because it's rifle season so we do need a side in the pew i mean it's sided in but like really make sure we're going to be using a 6.5 creed more today which i know it's not like a super traditional uh deer hunting gun at least the the it's on an ar-10 platform too so it's not it's really not traditional but that's what we're going to be using so what we're going to end up doing is taking out a steel target somewhere up on those hills or down in those hills and we're going to try to get it to where if i can hit the head at we think 200 yards we're yeah. probably in pretty good shape. 200, because when, when Pooljet and I were there with we're the crossbow, 250. Like, well, you could see a lot of deer, but we probably could have got 50 in. Yeah, hunt. yeah, probably, before they would really notice. We saw a lot of deer at 250 yards, and so we're, we will have a scope cam. We're going to try to get that ready as well. You guys can actually physically see what I'm seeing, like physically the scope. So you're going to be able to see the kill shot. Hopefully, fingers freaking crossed that it works. And we're also going to get sighted in here today. But before we get into it, you guys have to know if you're new to the channel or you've just been slacking, link down below is all the new beefcake merch. Uh, there's stuff for hunting on there and there's stuff for beefcake construction or kinky boy stuff if you're into that. But it'll all be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. And you get 15% off your entire purchase at GooganSquad.com by using promo code FLAIR. That goes for anything else on the website. Googan Squad has a bunch of hunting stuff as well, the blaze orange and all that stuff. So if you guys want to get any hunting gear for the deer stuff or anything like that, it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. Make sure you use promo code FLAIR at GooganSquad.com. But for First things first, I'm going to go run in and get all the pews ready, and these boys are going to try to assemble what was in that box, which is this. Essentially, it goes in the back of a hitch, so it'll go in the back of your hitch, so it could be for a meal or whatever, and then it's got a crank, and it'll, it'll hoist the deer up. So, the last time we've killed deer, the last two times we've just gutted it on the ground, it's not terrible, but it's not the most enjoyable. I mean, if you have a deer hanging, you can gut it really, really fast, plus you can leave it hang up, versus we've had to hang it in, in the shop and stuff like that. So, they're going to put that thing together. I'm going to run inside and try to get everything ready to rock and roll, and then we're going to jump into sighting in the pew, seeing if I can hit, you know, a grapefruit-sized area at 250 yards. That would be impressive, especially with this freaking wind out here. And then we're going to head down to the farm and try to put deer down on the ground for a delicious dinner tonight. So, you guys stay tuned. Shoo! Well, we got her figured out here, boys. So this is what we're dang on with. One of these contraptions. We're going to see if it picks up bands. If we can pick up bands, we can pick up a deer. Oh, this thing's light. I kind of like this thing. Okay. If you had a big enough deer, I bet you'd flip this four-wheeler. Like a Probably. moose? Like a moose or something? Yeah, I'm just... Eat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, That's God, cool. yeah. This thing is going to give it a hell of a lean. Oh, my Look at gosh. This. I don't think it's meant to do it on an ATV. Maybe it's not. It's meant for more of a truck. Truck, yeah. Dude, that's because like that, it didn't go in very far. No. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't coming off yet. You lifted the front end of the truck. <laughs> God. I'm trying to flip Jeez. it, it's not letting me. See how much of a net, what, oh, like. I think you bent something now. You think so? Like the deer ain't even gonna be off the ground. We think you're shooting Bambi? Why is it so damn small? Probably. This thing sucks. I'll be honest. Like. Don't put it in, in in the truck. Yeah, we should try it. Just to see, because otherwise, like oh, that first deer I shot, oh, no, not a, not a chance. It, 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 its head wouldn't even be off the ground. All right, let's try to put it in the truck and see what it looks like. All right, Millie, you better better watch out before we throw you on this sucker. Come on. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, just leave that. That's no, I ain't gonna bend. Not trying to hang on it. I mean, I would say it's it's, it's not pressing. bending as much. It's not bending. This is what it's made. It's made. Yeah. This is high enough. Yeah. Oh yeah. Four wheelers now. Full size pickup truck is what this sucker is definitely designed for. Oh gosh. I like this. Dad. Oh, okay, see, it works. It ain't bending that oh. bad. I, it could definitely hold 150 it. pounds. It could you, definitely. Can, you can shoot a deer up to 150 pounds. It says 300. Oh, oh, oh. Pounds, I was going to say, 300 is going to be, you could be, you could be hanging awesome. But we could be putting all sorts of coyotes, bobcats, raccoons, Possums. squirrels. That's a wide spreader for. 
Raccoon. It's a heck of a, he'll, he'll be doing, he'll, he'll be, be spread. He'll, he'll, he'll be spread eagle there, guy. That's our rig for tonight. Hopefully we're gonna be skinning up a deer, buck, doe, it don't matter if it's brown, it's down, folks. So now that we're prepared, I got all the other goods ready. Let's go ahead and get the pew fired up and get the target out there. We're gonna, like I said, I, I hit a coyote at like 80 yards with it. So I think it's decent. So I say, should we just go for 250 and just see if it even hits the target or is that too ambitious? I'm down. What do you think? Sure. Just start at 250 and just wham bam it. If I can't hit this target at 250, I probably shouldn't be shooting a deer. We're gonna go ahead and get the scope cam ready. So see how that works and get this thing sighted in at 250 yards and try to go get a deer down on the ground. You guys stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, we had some minor complications. It's the next day. Uh, basically, long story short, I bought the scope cam. Okay, super dope. Goes on the scope. You guys can see what I can see. Problem is, I bought it for a 25 millimeter scope, and mine's like a 30 or a 33. So I ordered a new part, but it's not going to be here until like two more days. And so we found the 308 gun that I have, which had a 25 millimeter scope. But the problem is, we could not find any 308 ammo. We spent all day looking for 308 ammo, could not find any. So now we're back. We're going to be shooting with a 65. No scope cam. We're setting this. We got. So what ended up happening is we ended up tried swapping scopes, taking the 308 scope, putting it on the 65, and it didn't work because it was an AR platform versus a bolt action, and they just didn't have the right mounting areas. So we've got to reside in the 65, which it was titties it was money so i smoked a coyote uh right over here like without even hesitation so now we got to re sight this thing in at 100 yards which is my house in here is about 100 yards looks good how's that is it gonna fall we could throw we, 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 we we've got something heavy. we could probably put something heavy on it so we're trying to shoot this target which this target's really not that big actually if you look at it it's really not that big at 200 so my goal is to shoot be able to shoot a deer up to 250 yards now i have a 10x powered scope which is not there again it's not it's not ideal but we got to get it sighted in at 100 and then we've got a spot down there that'll actually it's over there that'll be 200. If i can hit Dude, that's a small. I don't know if I can hit that at 200. That's gonna hey, be tough. If you can do that, you can kill a deer. If I can hit this at 200, I. I if you can hit any of this at 200. If I can hit any, good. <laughs> pretty much. If I can hit that center mass at 200, we'll be okay. I mean, we're shooting a pretty big round. So we're gonna go back up to the deck here, grab the 6.5, get it zeroed, throw it at 200, make sure it's super, super zeroed and ready to rock and roll. And then we are gonna head down to the farm and try to do some deer hunt. You guys stay tuned. All right, your pro on target, 100 yards, pew, sitting here. Shot a couple times, make sure it works. We're ready to go. Like I said, I want to work my way up to about 200 yards. If I can hit center mass on that at 200 yards, I feel pretty decent about shooting out a deer. But let's see how close this pew is. And then once I can get consistent center headshots, we're going to move it over to 200 yards and see how it does. All righty, here we go. Ooh, this is not very zoomed in. All right, grit, grit. 200 yards is going to be a doozy. All right, so I'm going to go for, I'm going to start. Start for center mass shot and see where it lands. Oh, the smoke's out of center mass. Wow, that was good. Okay, all right. Not much adjustment there. Let's go ahead and do a head shot. See what it looks like. Miss. Uh-oh. Oh, right in the face. Oh, right in the face. Oh, that's three for three in the face. I'd say we're good, Rick. It shakes the entire the whole deck. Dude, that's four headshots in a row. That's impressive. This thing was dialed. Literally four face shots. A center mass shot. Like I said I shot it a couple times just to make sure it was on target. As soon as it was on target, we went. So apparently we're just naturals at putting the scope on and it being pretty darn close. I wouldn't say there was like no pain on that face anymore. I would say we're ready for the old 200 yarder. In action. Hey guys, welcome back. We got her out at 200 yards. I got four face shots on that last one, so I'm gonna go center mass, and that way I can adjust. Because if you're off by an inch at 100, that means you're off two inches at 200? Sure. Probably mass. So we're gonna go for a center mass shot. If I'm close, see if I can get a head shot. All right. <sighs> Holy nuts. All right, you boys ready? Oh, 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 did you hear the delay? Oh, God, yeah. Boys, that was a center mass shot. That would be a dead deer in my book. Wow. All right. There's not really much adjustment, I'd say. I'd say you're pretty good. I'm going to go for a headshot here. Miss. Oh, we got him. Right in the face. It's on. I shook on that last one. All right, I'm going to give her one more ring and then banjo's up. There it is. I'd say we can kill a deer at 200, boys. I love the delay. I'm all within a hand size. It started hitting a little low, 
and then right and left, but I'd say that's a dead deer. All right, Banjo. How do you work this, mister? Uh, well, first, just make sure your barrel isn't, there you go. You don't want it, you don't want it like that. <laughs> no, nah, I probably shouldn't shoot okay. the deck there. Yep, so she's on safe. If I was you, I'd just aim, aim center mass. I'm gonna do a nut shot. You're going for a, well, don't hit the board. I won't hit the board. If you hit the board, it's gonna snap. I'll hit above the board. All right, I can't tell where you're hitting, so you... I'm just gonna go low middle, just so it's not like around yours. Okay, all right, all right, you, you go for it then. Hit! Where'd you hit? It was middle. It was a little higher than I wanted, but it was straight middle. There you go. You hit. Yep, that was a hit. On the head. On the head shot? Yep. What are you, Chris? Yep. Yep, head again. Yep. That was a nut shot. Really? All right, I'm good. Yeah, you're good. Pull, pull Jay, you up. Now that it's rifle season, basically all of us are able to go out and shoot deer, obviously with ease, if we're doing it like this. So we gotta make sure everybody's dialed in case the opportunity arises for all of us to lay down a deer on the ground. Yep. Where'd you aim? Just dead center. Did you hit it? Right in the dead center? Uh, I'm always a little left. Hit it right in the face. That might have been a mess. I think it was a I miss. think I was a whiff, yeah. Yeah. There you go. You hit it then. All right. Out. We're out. Well, I'd say we're all capable of shooting a deer at 200 yards. What would you say? Oh, God. You think you're capable of 200 yards? Oh, you're yards? asking me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we're good. I think 200 yards we're in. Oh, yeah. And th honestly, 200 looks way further than it, I feel like yeah. I thought in my head it was. Yeah, like that. I would I would say that's probably 300 looking at it, but it's I thought that was at least 1,000. Really? That's crazy. Shooting a yeah. mile? Oh, God, yeah. I think we're all accurate, though. We are all accurate at 200 yards. I, that's an ethical shot, okay? We're not out here just trying to snipe deer at 1,000 yards because we can. We want to make sure we're ethical. All of us could hit headshots consistently. A headshot is the size of my palm, which is going to be your vitals, your heart, your lungs, your liver, all that stuff. So, that being said, see you guys at the farm. Shoo! And we made it down to the farm, folks. We are ready to go do a little bit of deer hunting. So, me and Full Jet are out here today. We're looking for a buck. So, Jake, Trap Lord Jake, you guys know him. Um, he's been telling me that he's been seeing a buck in a specific spot um, on the property down here. And he says it's running from the river to some CRP, which the does have been betting in the CRP. I'm down for a doe or a buck. I have not tagged out yet for rifle season. Um, so honestly, I'm down for whatever buck would be sweet because I've already shot two bucks this year. Three would just make it spectacular. One problem, we don't have a blind. I bought like six pop-up blinds. They're all spread out. We have one where I shot my crossbow buck. It blew over and it's down there. So we're going to jump in the mule. We're going to go get it. We're gonna go back and set up, and I, I know, I know, we keep deer hunting the wrong way. Why would you set up your deer blind the day you go deer hunting? And it's three o'clock, meaning like the sun sets in two hours. I, I get it, folks, okay? We've been working on the cabin. We've got other projects going on. We don't have all the time in the world to do this. We're just, we're trying to just go as fast as we possibly can to get a deer on the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all of our stuff, throw it in the mule, take the mule, go pick up the blind, take the mule and the blind over to the spot, set up the blind, ditch the mule, and sit in the blind tonight and hope a big old buck comes in. You stay tuned. Alrighty, folks, we're in the blind. That's our setup. 6'5", scope game. We, do, we did bring the ghillie suits in case we need a running gun. If for some reason the deer are really far away, we got a running gun, we will, but that's a bunch of CRP right here. Really good bedding area, lots of thick timber, and then behind us is where we go duck hunting. There's water. It's a pretty good spot. Like I said, Jake said he, he's been seeing a deer go from the river to here where all the does are bedding to obviously breed during the rut. So we're just gonna hang out here, I guess, for a bit. I've never, I've never hunted over here. I've never seen a deer over here ever, but we're hoping for a bit the big buck to come over. Should be about right on time. Now I know he, he hasn't seen the blind before and that might scare him, but I guess we'll find out. I see a doe. I'm just gonna watch her for a bit. I don't know if I'm gonna shoot her yet. I can't quite tell how big she is. She's right at like 220. She's, she's gone now. I might regret that one later, but it just, I don't know, it didn't feel right. Like I felt like 
it's still early, but dude, talk about good footage. Just she was just coming right in, nice and slow. The only reason why I was thinking, wait, I was hoping she would hang out, and then a buck would see her and come in, but she ran. I don't think she's running because of us. She didn't really like freak out. Like she got probably what? Fifty yards. Fifty yards, yeah. She's pretty close. I could have shot her, but I don't know. I like I said I really would like a buck. And there's a buck running around here. She just came right out of the CRP right next to us. She's still running, but I guess we'll hang out. I might regret that one later. <laughs> but it was so early. If this happened at five fifteen, I would have shot her. We still have one at one good hour. That's gotta be a good sign that she came. She looked at us, but didn't, didn't scare away, but so, we'll see what happens. Well, I see a buck. He ain't that big, though. I don't think I'm gonna shoot him, but we'll let him get a little bit closer and see. He's got a big body. His rack's not that big, though. He's too small. say they don't like the blind though i mean they like it enough to get us a shot but like they're pretty weirded out about it man that was a big body boy too big body but i just feel like something like that i'm not a, i'm not i mean i'm not that big of a deer hunter and i don't really care how big the rack is but that one i feel like had potential to be bigger in the next few years maybe not maybe i'm wrong maybe he was mature and he was on the downhill slope but he looked he looked relatively young like two to three you guys let me know what you think, but talk about two easy shots tonight. Not capitalizing, not taking the opportunity, but I'm looking for Big Bertha. We see another doe, but she's really far. We have four minutes. What is it? Okay. Yep, ready? I think I got her. You think you hit her? She ran to the right. Yeah, I hit her. She ran to the right, and I lost. Then I lost her. She she went behind the tall grass. So oh, rip. that's gonna be a tough hunt. Tough one to find, I bet. But should we go to Lucy or what? We might have to. One minute to spare, boys. We'll, we'll see what we find when we get out there. We're gonna give her some time. We'll see what happens. Well, folks, I don't want a bumper. It was a really far shot. I felt good about the shot. I thought it was an ethical shot, but it was really far. Um, and as you guys see, it was really getting dark. We found blood. I can't show it because YouTube, but it's not a lot. Um, it's a decent amount. I've shot a handful of deer now. When you hit them good, you kind of know. Like the signs, the blood is, it's very apparent. This one, you're seeing little bits and pieces here and there, no big pools. And she's gonna be over in that timber and I'm, I'm kind of afraid that I'm gonna end up bumping her. So I don't wanna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in the morning and try to bring Lucy and she'll be in those woods somewhere. I just don't wanna bump her. Cause if you bump her, like I said, I don't think, it didn't get her great. The, the base off the blood, it just, I'm guessing I hit a little bit front, didn't hit the vital hit a little front shoulder which is unfortunate but like i said it's is one of those deals where i felt comfortable with the shot but stuff happened so that being said we'll come back tomorrow and see if we can find this deer Shoo! what is going on folks it's the next day we are here to look for yeah go ahead and let her out on that side that way she can get out we we're here to look for the deer now i'm not I felt so good about the shot, but it's just, it was such a far shot. Um, now that it's daylight, you get, that is our blind. Can you see that? I don't think you guys can even, you guys literally can't even, yeah, right there, right in the middle. So when we ranged from there to here, that was close to 300. And then from here to where I shot her. So I shot her, we put an X somewhere right over here. So Lucy, did you take her vest off? Yeah, I took her. Oh, okay. Hi, right, buddy. What you doing? Somewhere. You ready to find a deer? You've never found, where's the bird? Where are you going? It didn't run, I promise you didn't run that way. I would have found it yesterday. Let's see, if, let's see if she just gets on a scent. Where's that bird, Lucy? Find that bird. I would love it if Lucy found it. That'd make it, that'd make it sweet. So this is what we've got to deal with though. It's like, I don't see any blood. Oh, wait. No, that's not blood. Oh, I thought that was blood. We've got like, 
Honestly, probably like 50, 60 acres. Oh, she's on blood right here, right here. Look, look at this. Dude, hey, good girl, Lucy. Look at that, right there, right there. There's blood. Find that, find the bird, Lucy. See where she goes. We're just gonna follow her. Find that bird, Lucy. Find that bird. Oh, she's, she's, dude, she's on something. This is, this is why I like having Lucy. Look, find the bird, Lucy. Come on, fetch it up, fetch it up. Oh, she's going. Oh, where's she going? Look, I don't think it went that way though. I'm pretty sure. I thought it went up there. I'm looking for. Find the bird, Lucy. Look for blood. Find the bird. Where's that bird at? Where's that bird at? She's leaning over here. Find the bird, Lucy. Find the bird. Is that a belly? That's it. Did she just find it? <laughs> I feel stupid. It was right there. It was 10 yards from where we stood. You, Lucy. Oh, dude, are we freaking oh, wow. blind? Dude, it is, I didn't know it went through here. See, when I shot it, I shot it right at the truck. I thought it went that way. Dude, she found it. She said she was playing with it. I'll go show you guys in a minute. Look at this blood though. I feel so stupid. Look at this whole tree. I feel so stupid. It's not a big deal. Like the, the meat's still gonna be fine, but I feel so stupid because I was so hesitant to go look for this deer last night. Like we literally looked for, like we, me and Ty, we literally walked that and that's it. Cause I was like, dude, she's gonna be in there. I probably didn't get a great vital shot. I don't want to bump her. Cause if you bump her through that, you're never gonna find her. It's just an abyss of super tall, thick stuff like this. We didn't even look over here. We literally were looking over there. There's blood all through this. If I would have seen this, there's 360 blood. I would have went and been like, she's definitely dead because I only saw a few drops, like a couple drops here and there. And that's, I would say it's not a good sign. The thing is our muzzleloader deer, there was no blood. So when I didn't see a lot of blood, I was like, dude, we're not gonna find out. I was like, let's just bring Lucy. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping you guys waiting. I mean, it's not a, it's not a buck. This I can tell you right now, but I'm this? just, how did she do that? Dude, she ran right. I see the belly. Look at this. Oh my God. So here, look at this blood. If we would have just seen that, that stick, that's all she made it. Look, that's probably, what, 50 yards maybe from where I shot her? Probably about 50. I, For some reason, I'm just in disbelief. A 400 yard shot at dark, two minutes before shooting light. I gotta see where I hit her. Dude, look at all this blood, dude. Look at all this blood. Oh my God, there she is. Yes, yes. I saw that white. Lucy, good girl, Lucy. Lucy, that's a big bird. Fetch up the bird. Fetch it up, come on, bring it back. Let's go put it in the truck, come on. Fetch it up, fetch that bird. Fetch it up, Lucy's she's trying. She's trying <laughs> grabbing it. All right, Lucy, I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. Oh my that's God. All right, let's see where, oh my God. Dude, right behind the shoulder, dude. Oh, that's right through the vitals. Oh my, I don't, that's gonna be a black and white shot for you guys. Un it's almost like she got stuck right here. Look at this. See that? She like tried to get between this stick and this stick and just fell. Oh, that's a good size. It's a good size doe. She's not massive by any means, but she's, hey, quit, hey, quit licking, quit licking. All right, we're gonna drag her out. So I wanna see where the entrance and exit kind of line up there. I, dude, that's, that's just luck. Like, yeah, like I'm decent with a pew, but that is luck. That is, that's exactly where you wanna hit, right above the shoulder. Look where her arm is, right above it. We're gonna skin her up and we'll see where that bullet ends up going through. But it's 100% it's between the heart and the lung in some fashion. Fashion. It just depends on the entrance and exit wound, but let's go ahead and drag her out and take a closer look All right, we've got her out. So entrance was here. Hey, no easy easy entrance was somewhere in here I hadn't been able to find it yet, but the exit right there. Look at that <sighs> Oh, dude, you literally can't even hardly see the blind like that was the furthest shot I've ever taken on an animal. Well, I probably took maybe a little further in Africa, but probably not by much Africa We were shooting pretty far, but 400 hey quit Quit, quit eating the deer here. It's good to get her, get all this scent though, because obviously like when I say find the birds, it's because I can't say find the deer. She don't know what a deer is. I don't know if I could even, I mean, if I got her on enough of them, I could say find the deer and get her used to this smell and then find the birds would be a different smell, but she went right to it. So next time I end up shooting a deer, if we end up can't find it, like she's, she did really good. You saw her, she got on the blood trail and she felt, I was trying to get her to go over there. That's where I thought it was. I thought it was back there. If I knew it was there, we literally, what's she doing? Hey, quit eating, quit eating the deer guy. Hey, no, the catching cooks later. Hey, you stop that. No. Stop that. Literally, if we shined the mule lights, I shined the mule lights there, I never shined them there. What's weird is we never saw, like, blood, though. No, we, but we didn't look, like, we were, I was looking there. When I shot her, I did not, I thought she went behind this grass. I don't remember her coming on this side. So the whole time I'm thinking she goes in there and then she went in that valley. There's, like, a little ravine. All... There's blood everywhere, like, up on the top of these trees. Like, there's blood everywhere. We're just, we're just stupid. Hey, that's why we got Lucy. Good job, Lucy. Cause I honestly, if I didn't bring her, I would have started. I would have started going that way. The, the thing that you guys can learn from this is always start at blood and follow blood. For some reason, I have this weird thing where even though I find a little bit of blood, unless it's a lot of blood, I just like start wandering around. I wander and think my eyes are going to work better than finding a blood trail. Just cause I mean, blood trails are cool, but like sometimes they dry up. So then you kind of get lost and you end up just kind of being tunnel vision. And then sometimes it's like one of those, like it's, it's right in front of you if you would just look type thing, which is almost 
pretty much what happened here, except if I would have just followed the blood, it would have been right in front of us. So now, kind of, I'm starting to learn. Like I said, these are, I mean, this is my one, two, three, four. This is my fifth deer I've ever shot. Third one this year. I've shot two bucks this year. This is my first doe this year. I shot two, one doe last year and one doe the year before that. So my tracking and stuff is, I'm not an expert on it. I'm, I'm learning more. I think what I can take from this is follow blood a little bit further. If I lose, I think the, the, the rule should be if you lose blood, back out and check the next day. We never really lost blood because we never really looked for blood. We looked for blood for a little bit and saw it, but I lost it, but it's because I didn't look hard enough. If that makes sense. I'm talking a lot. Anyways, Lucy, quit skinning our deer. It's all right, buddy. I'm not going to get mad at you. You're doing what dogs do, right? You found our deer, buddy. This is your deer. Now you, we get to share some of the meat with you. She actually technically caught it. She found it. So for our catch, clean, cook, I shot. She caught. So we're going to have to give her have to give her some of this meat here. So anyways, I got my deer down on the ground for the shot I've ever taken. Scope cam. It was worth the wait. I mean, I wish it was a buck, obviously, but we passed on the small doe, passed on the small buck. Got, I would say, a re relatively mature doe. It's nothing giant, but it's definitely not like that little one that we saw out the gate. That little one out the gate was much, much smaller. This guy's definitely bigger, has some more meat, a really good harvest. So we're going to go ahead and get it skinned up and we're going to take it home and do a little catch clean cook. You guys stay tuned. Boom! There's the deer, folks. Okay, went out there, whew, laid the law down on this deer. It's been a while, it's been a week. We actually went and got it processed, got the meat back, so I wanted to wait and show you. And so instead of grabbing the tenderloin, throw it on the grill, putting the wild game seasoning on it, and it tastes delicious. We wanted to get it processed. Like we're getting the rest of our deer processed, but we wanted to wait for the meat to come back and review it. So this is what it looks like if you send it off to a meat locker. We've got a local one that does it. We did a bunch of different things. So me and Pool Jet, we're gonna do a little mukbang here and see basically what is our favorite. I think we pretty much grab one of about everything besides like the deer steaks. Like they have actual deer steaks. We didn't, we just threw those in the freezer. We figured that's pretty close to a tenderloin. Like so we wanted to just do like more of the process. So to start off, we've got original restructured jerky. So restructured means like it's ground up and then put in like little rows. So we have original and teriyaki. We've got a honey barbecue and pepper jack cheese. I think I got, yeah, this is the one I got. Pepper jack, we might have some jalapeno in there. I didn't, might not have grabbed. But anyway, pepper jack cheese and then honey barbecue. And then we've got these guys. This is jalapeno and cheese summer sausage. This is just regular wild game cheddar. So this is jalapeno, regular summer sausage. Then you got wieners. We're all about the wieners. So we've got a bacon cheddar broth. Oh, I love broth so much. So big fat mac, mac daddies right there. And then we've got the classic jalapeno pepper jack wiener. Pepper jack cheese, jalapeno wiener. So not brats, more of like a, a hot dog. It's a, it's a wiener. So we're gonna be, we got the panini press going. That's for these guys. Cook them on there. And then while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut into all these. I'm gonna give you guys a review. I wanna, we, we like obviously catching cooking ourselves, but giving it to a meat locker, they can make it taste way better than what we can. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start putting this meat in our mouth. All right, we're gonna cut into these wieners first. Panini press is about ready. Dude, these are like, well, they're still connected. See, this is like the legit stuff. This, you don't get this kind of stuff at Walmart. Look at this, let's see if I can pull this weenie out. That's when you know it's legit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the legit stuff. That's what you want right there. Or just ooh, oh god, dude. This mmm. Does it smell good? Mmm. That smells good. Alright, we're gonna get two of these guys going. Save these guys. And then bacon cheddar brats. Which I love bacon. I love cheddar and I love brats. So I think this is gonna be a good one here. That's a fat weenie. Look at that guy. Woo! Two weenies. Why I stacked them like that? Why I don't have a plate like down below? I don't know. This thing's about ready. What do you want to try over here first? Uh, so we start with the old snacks, dude. One of these guys? Yeah. Jalapeno or was this honey barbecue? Sure. Oh, oh yeah. That was pretty good. Really? Honey barbecue is an odd like. Oh, it's so sweet. It's sweet, yeah. Mm hmm That's like a sweet honey barbecue. Lucy. 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 You found the deer, Lucy. You deserve a little bit. Oh, I forgot she found this one. Yeah, she found this one, yeah. All right, what do you, what do you think? You like it? A little too sweet for you? Now you that one's it. pretty good. That's my favorite one so far. It's the only one we've had. Exactly. Oh, okay. Already. Already. My wiener machine's ready. Ooh, yeah. Throw the brats on, throw the weenies on. Don't roll. Don't do it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put them the other way so they don't roll. But... No, but then you get the dope grill marks guy. Oh, true. The other side's not gonna get done. Definitely case, not. In case yeah, you're yeah, curious, no. because... We'll have to give it a flip. Yeah, you'll give it a little one too. Okay. So we're gonna compare that to pepper jack cheese. This one's a lot harder. It's harder. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have much flavor. It's I not got, bad. I got, um, I got a little pepper jack cheese. 
Kind of tastes like a Slim Jim. Mm -hmm. Definitely not as flavorful as the other uh -uh. one. It needs jalapeno. Mm -hmm. It's missing a kick. It's not that spicy. It's not bad, mm -hmm. but it's definitely really tame. Like if somebody doesn't like spicy jerky, which one would you rather have? Uh, the honey barbecue one, 100%. The honey barbecue, I think, it's kind of dry. This one's kind of dry too. Mm -hmm. The honey barbecue one wasn't. Nice right. and moist. I'm excited for this. I've, usually when I shoot deers, I usually just get a lot of snack sticks. I haven't got any restructured jerky before, so I'm excited to try this. This is original. And then we have teriyaki, which you're a big teriyaki. Oh, guy. I've been waiting for you to make me some teriyaki. Mm -hmm. Really? Looks pretty moist. <laughs> Bland. No flavor. There's no flavor. Not one bit. Fuck, I'm just chewing nothing. These might be doggo treats. Yeah, well, she wants one. Here you go, Finn. There you go, Lucy. Hey, don't bite my hand. Like, it doesn't taste bad, but like... like I, have could... no, I have no desire to really eat it. No. It's like eating kind of cardboard, you know? It's not bad. Maybe if your terrier doesn't save the day, I'm going to be bummed because I was really looking for this restructure. Like I said, it's not bad. It's just, it's very, it's bland, which maybe original just is designed like that. Because really, what's original supposed to taste like? I don't know. Do I have Corona? Yeah. Don't tell me that. Don't be that way. No, 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 no. Teriyaki's got a slap, right? I got a little bit at the end. It's bland. Rip. It's bland. I think we did the wrong. Restructured ain't it. Uh -oh. The snack sticks are way more flavorful. The honey barbecue still right. takes the Even dough. the pepper jack cheese one's better than this. Uh-huh. Rip. Yeah. I think she's so sad. I feel like I have Rona again. I don't have taste buds, you know? It's got a, like the aftertaste. The aftertaste mm -hmm. is there. But while I'm chewing, I got no satisfaction. Man, this is a bummer. What do you think of that strategy? Make sure it's more. It says, I'll eat that. It tastes good. All right, we got two more things besides our wieners. The wieners are gonna be good, I know that. But it's a very, it's an aftertaste, after the fact flavor. Man, kind of a bummer, but we're rolling. You live and you learn. That's why you just try a bunch of different stuff and figure out what's your favorite and order a bunch of that the next time. There you go, that's all you. It's all me. Oh, I bet this is gonna be good. Like, I feel like I have really to like taste everything. <laughs> also kind of bland. I don't have much flavor in mine. Maybe everything <laughs> needs to be jalapeno. And we got Rona. Or I might have Corona. <laughs> what are the odds? The only, no, I taste the honey the barbecue. The honey barbecue was good. Dude. I mean. I might have to season all of our own jerky, you know? The meat's good. Yeah. Just the flavor's not really bland. Bland. Uh -huh. Like very bland. Mm-hmm. And this. I'm not very impressed. No, I'm not impressed either, to be honest. They're just, maybe, and maybe that's how the locker does it. Like, you know. Wild game is kind of iffy as is for a lot of people, so they just try to like keep it as tame as possible. But like, like would it hurt to like it? throw some freaking salt in there here and there? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, not to hate on my boys, but I'm, I, I don't. I'm not really that impressed. I might tell them next deer, hey, throw some spice in this next one. Let's flavor it up a little bit. I see some jalapeno. The jalapeno one. one's got to do it. If it don't do it, then we're just we we probably have the Corona. If the jalapeno branded one don't have it, please tell me that you taste something. Oh, you taste on your own. My, I mean, my tongue's on fire. It's very hot, but I have no flavor. Mm. Are you getting that too? Yeah. Like, I got a lot of heat on the old tongue. My tongue's getting it. But it don't have a, like, I feel like they're literally missing, like, salt and pepper. Yeah, there's no taste. It's kind of weird. Like, you ever I've eat, never you ever had, like, the heat, but no taste. You ever eat, like, a can of corn without anything? It still tastes like corn, but it's not great. The heat is there. Like, I would eat this mm -hmm. just because it's actually, like, I can feel something. There's something going on. Yeah. Overall, though, the honey barbecue. Honey barbecue is where it's at, yeah. And honey, honey barbecue's got like hell of flavor. Yeah, once your tongue starts getting it, yeah, it's good. I would say so far my favorite: honey barbecue, then pepper jack cheese sticks, then jalapeno. This and then it's a tie between. Can you not? It's a tie between the original summer sausage and then all the restructured. This is yeah. I like my tongue's getting it, and it's starting to like maybe it heighten my senses a little bit. Like a smell, maybe it could cure Corona. Well, overall, folks. It's okay for, can you not? For the price I paid, not worth it at all. Like not, it, it, it could be on my part. Like maybe when I go there next, I need to add like what, what can I add extra spice? Like can I add some extra flavor? Like what can I do? But overall, I would say the honey barbecue sticks are definitely the best out of all of them. Now it's time to try Ooh. our wieners. Yo, he busted. Look at that guy. He bursted up the seams there, boy. Millie, you're gonna like this guy. All right, we're good. By the way, Pool Jet and I, we uh, continue to taste. 
We think that the honey barbecue messed us up. Good. Shh. Shh. No! We think it messed up. It, it was so flavorful that it made everything else taste bland. We washed it down and went back through and everything tasted good. So I can't, I, I'll take back what I said, okay? I don't wanna, I don't wanna shame anybody here. It, it, the honey barbecue just, it made everything taste bland. We went back, we washed it down and tasted everything else and it all tasted actually pretty darn good. I wanna throw that out there that we're not gonna like let all this deer meat go to waste because of what we said a second ago, because we changed. How's that work? What is this, cut, cut yourself? Wiener, you had one job. You, you <laughs> know, it's the only pack you, they you have. Know. You know, no, not you. I'm saying, there, you know, there's an oh. employee at Ballpark whose only job is to cut the buns. Maybe that's why it was the last. You pack. had one job, my friend. You had one job. Yeah. Don't worry. Whatever your name is, I'll do your job for you. We'll get it. We'll get it figured out. Oh God, that's a fat weenie. Look at that thing. Goodness. Man, it barely fits in between the cheeks here. Wait, what? Look at that. Oh yeah. Spread the buns. Place the weenie. Spread the buns. Place the weenie. Get in there. We're good. Weenies are done. I'll let these things cool off. You big mustard guy? What do you like? Well, see, I was gonna ask. Do you want to do like ketchup mustard and all that, or do you want to just taste them like for their true flavor? I'm a big mustard guy, but I might. I might see, I don't like mustard. Big ketchup guy. On brats? I mean, eh, it don't really matter. Really? What if? Hey, what if you just did this? No. What if you just eat it like this? Just plain. Plain winky. Just a plain weenie, yeah. I'll cut yeah. you off a little nub. Let's just do this. Let's set those up to the side. We're gonna cut the tip, just the tip off the weenie here. That way we can taste it without the bun, get the raw flavor, and then go in with the bun and then maybe some condiments. All right, just butchered those. Should have done that before I placed it on there, but. What, why does this dog talk all the time now? Oh, it's, it's re She used to never do it. No. Oh, what the eel is. Smells like weenies. No, can you not? Get, no. Do you smell them though? They smell really they good. They do smell pretty good. Mitt, this is human food. I don't know what to tell you. Why don't you be like your sister? Just sit there and be a good dog. Lu Lucy found this deer and she's still not like this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why my dog's like this. You give her, you give her one weenie and this is what happens. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. This is the hot dog, huh? Here. Yeah. Here's your, here's your hot dog. Oh, that's clean. <laughs> well, this thing's hotter now. <laughs> this thing's hotter now. Ah, ah. Why would you? Oh, just let it cool oh. off, guy. Nah. Ooh, jalapeno. Yeah, what's the flavor of this? Jalapeno cheddar or just jalapeno? Jalapeno pepper jack. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> why'd you? Why'd your voice all of a sudden go oh real deep? This is hot. It's spicy. Mm. Oh yeah, dude. That's pretty good. I will say that. It's hot. My throat is on fire. Like temperature hot or spicy hot? Well, it's both. Rip. It's, get, it's getting after it. That's a hot weenie. Now you come on, you got it. <laughs> I just got impatient. I want to put this weenie in my mouth, so I got excited. Mm. Hey, you, feel, you taste jalapeno? Nice to check. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? No. What do you think? You like it? That's pretty good. You like, you like oh, the yeah, weenie? I'm excited for the brat now. Okay, I'm going in brat. you put that guy in your mouth? How's that feel? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I'll let you decide. Do you like the, what was it? Bacon bacon and cheddar? Or if you like the jalapeno and pepper jack? I feel like I coated my mouth with something. Yeah. I, I wasn't. Something just happened. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure about it. Like it don't taste, it's a lot. I've been chewy. Yeah. Chewy? It's, the, it's the deer, yeah. Anyway. It's, it's a, little, a little chewier. It's not bad. No. I would take, I, I like the wiener I, better. I, I say I like the wiener better. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of, it's too much because it's got bacon and cheddar. It's just too, I think it's too much going on. Like it's too much, but maybe maybe tone it back with the bun a little bit. Add a little bit of mustard on there. I think let's let's give it a try with the bun and see which one's better. The weenie. We're both thinking weenie. I think it was just a, it was a lot. You say it got is greasy. There's something slimy going on yeah, in there. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we're going. This is traditional. If I get go to the store and get hot dogs or something, this is how I do. Well, the crap, the crunk, the, the snap. Yeah, I heard that. It's not mm -hmm. like you just ate a carrot. Mm -mm. What was that about? Good casing or what? Mm -hmm. I gotta go in again. It was spicy. Really? Dude, it's, this is freaking. Oh, it's the jalapeno. This that's is, why. Yeah. My throat's getting it right now. What's weird is like you're expecting a hot dog taste and it just isn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can. You know see, what I'm saying? I, I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. It tastes good, 
But like to me, I want the taste. I feel like I, my brain is telling me that I want it to taste like a hot dog. You're excited just, about hot dog. And yeah. It's just hmm. it's just not. It's a deer wiener. But you're a big ketchup guy. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. you go give her help. My I will tell you, your mouth will be on fire after this one. Really? It's, hot, it's hot. Because of the ketchup? Or? No, because uh, of the jalapeno. <laughs> it's good, it gets you good too. Oh, come on, come on. that's a lot. Whoops. Good. Not you want some? You want <laughs> some wiener with the good. ketchup guy? Goodness. Well, you know, you said it wasn't the best, so I had really. It, it's good. It just it's hot. It's just hot. So you got lot, it. A lot of bun up here. You yeah, you, you got it. You got it. Ooh, the snap, dude. The snap. The snap factor is there, though. It's like more than I've never had a wiener snap like that before. Well, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Really good. Yeah, but it's weird because it just doesn't taste like a hot dog, mm -mm. which is what you expect it to taste like. It just tastes like deer. Well, not deer, but like, it's almost like, it tastes more like beef than any, like it just doesn't like give you the- beef wiener? Yeah, a beef wiener. It tastes similar to those, what are they, the, the wagyu, the wagyu we had wagyu, we had? we had wagyu beef brats, Broth. and they tasted just like this. They're very, very similar, Very, very yeah. similar, yeah. I'm interested to see what that's gonna taste like. Yeah, I don't know if that one's gonna be uh -huh. any better or not, but let's okay. go ahead and give it a try. We're going for the cheddar bacon bratwurst. Here we go. Mmm. Seems awfully crunchy. Mm hmm You know what's weird? This tastes identical to the better cheddar sausages we get at Walmart. Those they're like they're like bigger hot dogs, but not brats. They're called sausages. Are they the They're like cheddar basically the, if you've had a cheddar hot dog. Mm-mm. Oh. If you've had a cheddar filled hot dog, that's what they like they call them better cheddar sausages. Identical. Doesn't taste anything like a brat. It tastes like a cheddar filled hot dog. Yes, I don't know if you know what I, if you've had what I'm talking about. But like whenever I've like came in in the summer and I'm making a bunch of weenies and one of them which is with cheddar. Oh, it tastes, it's those it ones. It tastes just like this. Hmm. It's identical. You gotta try it. I yeah. see. I would rather eat that with the bun. It, it changed my mind because before I was like the wiener is better on its own. The that is not that good. But that mixed with the bun, I think is better than the weenie. That's my I opinion. So. That's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, have you have you been around when we had those yeah, cheddar yeah, sausages? Yeah, we, we had them a couple months. Ago. But they're I called sausages know. and not hot dogs. But I always say they're hot dogs. Yeah, we just slap them on a weenie bun. Yes. And it yes. A, yes. Yeah, it yeah. tastes to me. It tastes like that. But we'll see what you think. Dude, the snap is just getting it though. Good casing. It was a big bite. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect all that. When yeah. Fit, yeah. You know? that's, that's a, there's a lot lot going on in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You like it? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like that or do you? It is does. It, yeah, it's mm -hmm. similar. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it's like Johnsonville or something. It's a better cheddar. It's called a better set, better cheddar sausage, and it looks like a hot dog, but it feels it tastes just like this. So I would say, well, okay, I'll let you decide. Which one would which wiener would you rather stick in your mouth with bun and condiments? Wiener, not the broth. No. See, I'm team broth. Really? Yeah, I thought the broth was better. I gotta go. I like the, I like the bread on the bun from the broth going from the backside. Mm-hmm. Really. Oh yeah, oh the broth. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Think so? Uh -huh. There's something about I don't know. Something about that wiener. I liked it. Really? That was a good wiener. So you're team wiener. Mm -hmm. I'm team broth. This is all pretty delicious. I'm st still team honey barbecue on that. Really? Hundred percent. Honey barbecue takes a dub for the jerky. We're we're undecided. We don't have banjo here. Really? So he'll have to decide at a different time. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the catch and cook. We didn't do the cooking, but we figured let's mix it up. Let's let's get. Let's show you guys what we get back when we take whatever's left of the deer, which is most of it. You should just take the tenderloins out, and we'll do a review mukbang for you. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much, Ryan, and peace.